everyone. Today I'm going to be opening these three Ninja Turtles. Sorry I don't have Donatello, but I have Leonardo here and Raphael and Michelangelo. Now first I guess I'll just take a short look at the Donatello. See he's got a smile and a bow of course and the little shoulder straps. But I'll just have to get him on a different day. Now the first thing I noticed is there's tape holding the blister onto the cardboard. It goes all the way on each four of the sides and it wraps on to the back. Let's see if I can show you that. Um, and I don't know, some people might think that that ruins the card or, or the collectability, but they're all like that, so you know, that's the only way you can get it. Um, so I'm just gonna show you how I'm gonna open one when when it's taped like that because I don't really like that. But I'm going to get a razor blade and I am not responsible for any damage that you might do when you are trying this. So just be careful. Alright, so I, I'm just going to go like push it against the cardboard and go all the way around. Or might not need to on the bottom, but you can pretty much get it off of the cardboard like that without messing up the picture if you want to keep the cardboard. And there's a little bit of tape, or is that plastic? I think that's tape. So you should not cut your cut towards yourself like that. That is very bad. All right. So here we have the cardboard with hardly any damage. A little bit. I could do it better next time if I was being more careful. Okay. There's this piece of cardboard here. Just an instruction booklet. Uh, well, not instructions. It's a uh, you know showing all the toys. I think this is the same one that comes with the other smaller action figures. Oh, it folds out. It shows a lot of the characters. I think some of these are newer. Alright, so I'm going to get them all open and then I'll show you the individual toys. Alright, let's take a quick look at the stands that they come with. They all have a stand with their name on it. Movie, movie Leo, Movie Mike, Movie Raph. I guess they couldn't fit the whole name in. This one is painted slightly darker than the others. Uh, we notice on the back that they all have kind of a serial number, but it's all the same. And but but they have uh, this one has a three and, a, and those have a four. I don't know if anyone cares, but that, I thought that was kind of weird. And they have pegs for the feet. All right, let's take a look at the weapons. Uh, this one, this side is pretty nice detailing it's a little bit hard plastic it's not very bendable i mean you know it, you can bend it just because it's so thin but it's gonna keep its shape i think now here we have a slightly different problem this is made out of the same plastic but um the amount of time it spent in in the package has bent it because of the way um they packaged it and it doesn't really want to bend back. Now, I guess you could fix that by putting it under a really heavy book or something for a few weeks or something, or heat treating it, but it's bent right out of the package and that's kind of lame. But here's the handles. Alright, and then these I think are the coolest weapons because they have a real chain. It's uh, metal, and let's see, is there any detail on the wooden part? Yeah, a little bit, some cracks. Pretty cool. This, the chains are a little bit long, longer than real nunchucks, but that's so you can play with it with the action figure. All right, let's take a look at the turtles. All right, let me show you this one because the first thing I noticed when I was taking out the package is they have very stiff shoulder joints. Like, 
If you notice, I have his arms out and that one's arms out because I was scared to break it before I made a video. Like, if if you try to bend this down, the it's so tight that you're bending this joint instead of the the pose the posing part. Like, I'm really scared it's gonna break. It it really like if I hold it down here, see so you can see it's like gonna crack in here. And this this one is the same way. See like I'm gonna try to push it up and it doesn't want to go up. Like I'm I'm bending the arm instead of making it go up like right there. It's really really hard to bend. None of the other joints are like that. Okay, let's take a look at all the joints. It's got kind of a double joint right here. The the thumb is very tight. Actually, I didn't bend that one yet. But the thumb moves. The the fingers move individually and they turn like that all the way around if you wanted to it's got wrist movement um, this swivels that's the part that I'm worried about breaking and this moves up and down I guess sometimes and the head's on a ball joint now here's a really weird thing this his chest is attached to his shell his, ch his shell is one whole piece and you can bend his chest like that and then the shell comes up with it. See that? This is all one piece separate from the lower half of the body. Which is kind of weird but cool. It's, it's better that they did that than cutting the shell in half. Alright, the belts are separate pieces. Like you could... But but like they're like a lot of the other toys where there's a like a little indentation where the belt goes. It's got places to put the nunchucks or nunchaku or whatever you call them. Alright, this this is a very nice moving joint. Goes all over the place and it also moves inside right there and right here which I think is a little bit overkill. You didn't really need both of those. Okay, he's got a double jointed knee and this ankle, this spins around and it bends up and down. And both toes move individually. I think that's all the posability on these. Alright, let's take a look at their faces. Michelangelo has just kind of a grin, which is a very nice face. I like that. And this Raphael has kind of a evil grin. Like he just did something really naughty. Oh, and let's look at their um, fabric. Is it kind of the same? A little bit different. And then here's Leonardo. His they're both together, and his face is kind of weird. I don't I don't like his face. Um, the mouth is alright, but his eyes seem to be off center. See, like, I'm trying to hold it straight to the camera, and, like, this eye seems like it's a little bit too far on the side of the head, like, like, I just want to take his bandana and twist it around so it's more even. But that's the way it is, uh, when they're all like that in the store. And he has this extra part of the belt. It comes off like that. And you can put it back on. Oops. And he's got a peg hole for this. Okay, let's put that in there. Alright. Oh, and since they have posable hands, you can... You have to make them grab your weapon. But that's good because you can put other things in their hands too. He doesn't really want to hold it, I don't think. It's very loose. Like, I feel like it would... It kind of wants to fall out. But, anyways, they... They go in. I'm trying to do this on the camera. I'm not actually looking at what I'm doing. And 
just looking at the camera screen, so it's kind of hard. But, okay, so the swords go in very nicely, very smooth, no resistance. But at the same time, they're not going to fall out, I don't think. Okay, and let's see. We will get these, and they go in the front like that, which is very nice. That one's a little bit tight. This one's a little bit looser. Well, they're they're both kind of tight, actually. And you can grab it like that. Oh, there's kind of a little space for their weapon. See the the hand has like a hole in it, so you can put it in that groove, and they hold it a little bit easier. All right, and then we have the nunchucks. I don't think I really need to show you keep putting them in their hands, but I will. Like that. And they go... Do people put them upside down or right side up? I don't know. You could put it like that. Or like that. Or if you really wanted to be weird, you could put them going across like that. Alright, so those fit really good. I would say that's a medium tightness fit. It's not too, it's not hard to get in, but it's very, very sturdy. It's like I'm hitting it and it's not really going down. So it's very nice. All right, so I don't know if there's anything else I need to show you besides, I guess I could put them, put one on the stand. Let's see how it fits. Let's see, is it kind of hard to go in there? No, it's just right. I would say that is just right. Alright, so uh, all, overall I think these are really nice except for the super tight shoulder joints. Like this one has it. See like this one doesn't want to go up and down. It's like breaking right there. And this one also has the really tight shoulders. But this ones are a little bit looser. Leonardo's. These swivel like kind of like they should. So I guess it's just random, depending on which one you you happen to buy. And I'm not saying they're all Leonardo's are good and all Raphael's are bad. It's just, I don't know, my particular ones. So good luck if you're buying these that you don't get the super tight shoulders. And uh, I really, if you like Ninja Turtles, I really recommend these. These are really nice. You can, uh, they're, you know, really cool poses. And uh, I paid about, I think these are $22.99 at Toys R Us. You might be able to get them for a little bit less. I don't know. But alright, I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want to subscribe to see more. And I will see you later.